The huge fire that destroyed a skate park located inside of a former church. The flames began to spread last night in North St. Louis and left a massive amount of damage behind. Our Justina Cornell joins us live from the scene on Hogan Street. And Justina, this is a church most people have seen at some point who've lived in St. Louis. What have you learned about the fire? Yeah, and so this all happened at 1045 last night, and we're told that those dry conditions spread that fire even faster. Now everything inside is destroyed. Since the 1800s, St. Louisans have seen St. Laborious Catholic Church transform. This is five on your side's footage from 1965, repairs being made on the steeple. Over the years, the church transformed into a safe haven for skaters. More than a decade ago, the vacant space became skate laborious. Our biggest feature in there was a 12-foot vert ramp. It extended to probably about 16 foot with the guardrails. We had people coming into the church. They were doing street art. People were learning how to skateboard. Young lives were transformed. We served uh, kids in the local community. We served adults. We served people from all over the world. However, it took a Wednesday night fire to change everything. Firefighters fought the flames as dry conditions caused the fire to latch onto everything inside. Co-founder Joss Hay said this was a home for many. One of our founders who has been there since the beginning, Brian Bedwell, um, he was he had a space in there. He was our 24 hour guard. He has a young son as well. Um, he's going to need all the community support. He's just lost his home. Um, he's lost probably most of his things as well. So we're going to have to turn our fundraising efforts into helping our own community within our own structures now. As crews pick up the pieces, the Regional Arts Commission content creator believes Skate Laborious will be able to transform once again. People have put a lot of care into kind of this organization and their mission. And so if the response so far is any indication, um, people will continue to work on it and the mission I'm sure will continue. Prior to all of this, there was actually already a GoFundMe to raise funds for the center, and now all of these funds will go to help to rebuild this and to help their crews. Now, if you're wanting to help out, you can head to our website, kcdk.com, and go to the section as seen on TV. Reporting in St. Louis, Christina Cornell, 5 on your side.